Higurashi and Umineko are both part of the greater When They Cry franchise by Ryukishi 7, and one notable hallmark of the franchise, and of other fanverses of its ilk, is the inclusion of repeated callbacks to prior works, ranging from easter eggs to references that are so blatant that they'll make you seriously question whether or not what you're watching is actually a sequel in disguise. In the case of Higurashi and Umineko, one of the great intertextual mysteries is the thread that ties Burnkastel, the Witch of Miracles, to Rika Furude, and the narrative implication this has for both installments, so this video aims to summarize the extent of what is known thus far. As this involves delving deep into the lore behind both series, spoilers are inevitable, so proceed at your own discretion. Let's begin. Rika Furude is the protagonist of Higurashi, the only surviving member of the Furude family of the village of Hinamizawa, and is revered as the vessel and messenger of Oyashirosama, the guardian deity of the village. Over the course of the narrative, it is revealed that, thanks to Rika's ancestral connection with the goddess Hanyu, who is the true form of Oyashirosama, she has the supernatural ability to traverse various timelines, or fragments, in hopes of finding one where the disaster of 1983 has been successfully thwarted. Rika's existence is divided between the Rika that exists within a specific fragment and the centuries-old timeline-hopping Rika that exists via Hanyu's power in the so-called Sea of Fragments and who can see across all possible timelines. Frederica Bernkastel is a mysterious entity whose existence is primarily known to the reader through a series of poems that introduce each arc. Her first non-abstract, though still unseen, appearance is as the ambiguous narrator in the prologue of the seventh arc, Minagoroshi, where, speaking directly to the reader from the Sea of Fragments, she methodically dissects the criteria that steer particular fragments towards inevitable calamity. Frederica clearly differentiates herself at the beginning of the scene as a separate entity from Rika. However, as the scene goes on, it becomes increasingly ambiguous as the narrator frequently switches between first and third person when referring to Rika. Adding to the ambiguity, the adaptations offer completely contradictory interpretations, with the manga explicitly depicting Frederica as a separate entity who speaks directly to Rika, and the anime depicting Rika as narrating everything in first person, implying that she and Frederica are actually one in the same. Frederica makes her final Higurashi appearance in the epilogue of Matsuri Bayashi as a nameless omniscient woman who grants Miyoko Tanashi a second chance at a happy life. Chronologically, that is, in order of content release, the name Frederica Burkestel first appears outside of the poems in Saikuroshi, the epilogue arc, where Rika temporarily dubs herself Frederica Burkestel to formally distinguish herself, that is, the Sea of Fragments Rika, from the Rika who originally existed within the Saikuroshi fragment, and whose consciousness is currently being hijacked. Frederica comes from a romanization of Rika's full name, Ferude Rika, and Burkestel comes from the brand she reads off a wine label. So, with all that, who, or what exactly, is Frederica Bernkastel? Ryukishi himself has stated that he regards Frederica as a higher order being who is the manifestation of Rika's anguish and despair, compounded and crystallized over centuries of looping through and across fragments. This is supported by both this critical line in Frederica's initial appearance, as well as Rika's terminal soliloquy in Saikoroshi, where she muses about how the part of her consciousness that has lived a thousand years now exists as a separate being on a higher plane. And that's pretty much it as far as official confirmation goes. Based on those pieces of evidence, however, it is heavily implied that Rika's theory holds, that the despair-soaked part of her consciousness either broke off or would go on to break off and evolve into a separate, higher-order existence of its own, adopting the name Frederica Burnkastel from the pseudonym that Rika conceived during the events of Saikuroshi. And if this Frederica, that is, the true Frederica Bernkastel, is in fact a being above that of even Sea of Fragments Rika, then it wouldn't be too much of a stretch for her to have gained the ability to intervene in past events, such as returning to Mina Groshi to teach Rika the lay of the land, or traveling all the way back in time to stymie the source of Takano's childhood trauma. That said, where exactly Frederica's alignment falls, and what her grander scale motives are, that is, if she even has any at all, remain a mystery. But for the time being, the consequential actions that she has taken in Higurashi have, at the very least, certainly led to overall benevolent outcomes. Switching gears now to Umineko, Berenkestel is the Witch of Miracles, a powerful deity-like being who has the power to reinstantiate a scenario over and over again until a miracle occurs, so long as the chance of such a miracle occurring is greater than zero. Burkestel, or Burn for short, exists in the meta world alongside other witches such as Lambda Delta, the Witch of Certainty, and Beatrice, the Golden Witch, overseeing the game board on which the various scenarios of the Rokenjima family conference are played out. 
Initially starting out as a completely neutral mediating agent on the sidelines of the ferocious head-to-head -head battle of wits between Battler and Beatrice, Byrne spends the vast majority of the story vacillating between tenuous ally and neutral observer before finally taking up the mantle of main villain for the final act. Byrne's likeness is overtly modeled after Rika. By Ryukishi's own admission, Byrne was conceived out of his desire to create an evil version of Rika, as an ode to one of his 7th expansion team members who had a soft spot for the Higurashi protagonist. Byrne's profile lists her as the Witch of the Fragments, who has lived for a thousand years in a world where the concepts of fate and possibilities can be visualized, which is a precise distillation of Frederica's role in Higurashi's narrative. Her profile also notes her penchant for spicy food and wine, which mirrors Rika's dietary indulgences in Higurashi. And in episode 2, there's also this small scene, which, well, it speaks for itself. <laughs> For more narratively meaningful similarities, however, in episode 6, Dawn of the Golden Witch, Lambda recounts an illuminating tale of Byrne's past, how Byrne was a piece of a game board in the days of yore, and ascended to the status of a witch when her spirit was broken through being trapped in a logic error by her game master, with the only means of escape being via brute force in a process Lambda likens to the infinite monkey theorem. All of which sounds loosely similar to Rika's endless fragment hopping to reach the one victorious outcome, with her despair growing and growing with each failed attempt to the point where critical mass caused it to ascend into a sentient existence unto itself. This, of course, implies that Byrne's game board may have, in fact, been the world of Higurashi. The manga adaptation supports this theory by depicting a figure who is clearly Rika alongside a silhouette largely resembling Hanyu. Episode 6 ends with Byrne and the even more powerful witch of theater going, Featherine, coming face to face, with Byrne being dubbed Featherine's Miko, mirroring the relationship between Rika and Hanyu, as Featherine herself is Hanyu's Umineko analog in a multitude of ways. Finally, Ryukishi penned a short story as part of some Umineko supplemental material called Byrne's Letter. The title clearly suggests that it was written by Byrne herself, however it concludes with a series of poems very similar to the ones peppered throughout Higurashi, and signed as Frederica Burnkastel, once again implying that Frederica and Byrne are one and the same, though still ultimately sidestepping explicit confirmation. So what does this all mean for how Higurashi and Umineko are connected? I've already gone over how Byrne's origin lines up suspiciously neatly with Rika's journey through Higurashi, however, there are some distinct well, not necessarily inconsistencies per se, but rather details that lack a crystal clear Higurashi analog. For instance, the identity of Byrne's master is something that is ambiguous even purely within the fabric of Umineko, though it is heavily implied to be Featherine. In Lambda's story, she states how Byrne's master was cruel, deliberately leaving her at the mercy of a logic error, with episode 8 recounting a story of how a witch, presumably Byrne, once wandered the Sea of Fragments looking for one specific fragment which would revive her master, who had fallen into limbo out of sheer boredom. Supposing that Byrne's master is in fact Featherine, relating her to Hanyu loses credibility since neither of these accounts seem to apply to Hanyu. So while on the surface it might look like everything points to Byrne originating from Rika's centuries of suffering on the game board of Higurashi, thus making her one in the same as Frederica Burnkastel, a deeper inspection quickly reveals that there exist a few outstanding wrinkles that are still in need of smoothing out before the theory can be successfully spoken with red truth. And unfortunately, that brings us to the end. The rest is pure speculation, notwithstanding a handful of negligible references scattered here and there. Going forward, perhaps a future adaptation will serve to shed some light on some of these lingering questions, because many fans, myself included, have been itching to finally see some manner of connective tissue formed between these two characters, as well as between the series themselves. Thanks for watching.